Hey, Steb here. Today I'm going to be working on the RK Gundam. So I've been struggling to find this kit for a few years, but uh, thankfully Bandai is finally starting to reprint a lot of the HG00 kits. God, it is so freaking cool. I really like how the body and the limbs are so lanky, but the huge side skirts and the buster sword gives it like a really intimidating silhouette. For this kit, I'm only going to work on lengthening the waist since the arms and legs are plenty long enough. Not really sure how long I should make it though. First, I'm going to find a well-sized ABS rod to make the waist longer. And I'm going to omit the ball joint so that I could fit the rod in the peg by drilling a hole in it. Yeah, the balance is pretty bad. I made it a lot shorter after, and I drilled it in a way that makes it so that it leans a bit forward. I thought that it would look a lot cooler if I could give it a hunched back kind of look. And then I worked on basic stuff like sanding nubs and uh, getting rid of sink marks. The sink marks on this kit in particular felt deeper and a lot more noticeable. And I think it's because of the bigger parts. As usual, I spray a neutral gray mixed with Gaia Notes EX White and EX Black. I usually use this layer to check for any noticeable scratches or seam lines that weren't processed adequately. And everything looked good, so I proceeded with a really muddy, wine-like color that I mixed with a lot of brown, gray, and red. I made sure to spray this color twice on each piece for an even coverage. It looks good as is, but I wanted to add some depth, so I added some more red to the previous color and thinned it a ton to spray as a highlight. I focus on spraying at the middle of the parts and away from the edges. Then I spray a clear coat to bring it all together. After spending a week panel lining and letting everything dry, I start building. I opted for a dark yellowish warm gray for the frame parts because... I don't know, I just thought it would look really cool with a dark red. Uh, I can't really explain it, but it worked out. I guess another point that I'm really happy with is uh, using fluorescent paint to color the eyes. They glow under UV lighting. Check it out. I said earlier that I sprayed a clear coat, but it's actually not 100% gloss clear. I added a few drops of matte clear to let it give off a more natural shine.
And for the white portions, I thought it would be interesting if I added a bluish hue to add some pop. Not bad. And all done.